So you want to win an NCAA championship. Some think it's easy, and on paper, maybe it is. Just win the next six games in a row, and you've reached your goal. But as Dickie B is going to tell you, these are the toughest six games to play. And you'll see that in today's game between the Florida Atlantic Owls and the Memphis Tigers. This is where both teams wanted to be, Dick. Let's not wait any longer to get this one started. The Tigers, by all accounts, should have an easy time of it tonight, Dick Vitale. How do they ensure that victory, though? They should listen to me and follow the simple keys, baby. First of all, give your big men the ball. Let them attack from down low. Second, make good passes and force the other team to play honest defense. And finally, don't be passive defensively. Be the initiator and force them to do things they don't want to do offensively. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He is going to the line. Makes the first. Cashed it in. Both teams looking to get things going here. The power forward gets the ball. There's a high percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Ball handler's in trouble. Cross court. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Inside, number 32 with the fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Marshall is eager and excited to compete. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. Fed the low block. For two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. The shooting guard with the ball. Fakes it. He shoots. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's getting it done out there, Brad. They'd be in trouble without him. Trying to pack it inside. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. On the outside, he shoots from the top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> inside, the center gets the pass with the fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He dials long distance. Way off target. 
the elbow. They feed down to the low block. He's got a nice shot fake. There they come with a double team to stop it. Foul charge. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. This is the first. He makes it. Foul shot is not good. Shows patience waiting for the reset. Look at that spacing. A little frustration right there. The shooting guard takes the pass. Tries for two. There's the trap. Drains the shot. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. Gets the rejection. Fast break opportunity here. There was no doubt about that one. Great anticipation defensively. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. The power forward takes the feed. From beyond the arc. There was no doubt about that one. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Both teams looking to get things going here. He'll regroup the offense. Try to pack. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's one you take for the team, Brad. Now check him out. Who would have thought with the cheerleaders? Come on. Hey, he's out of control, Brad. He wants everyone to get up and enjoy the moment, including the cheerleaders. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. timeout I'd expect we're going to see more focused play on both sides one would assume so gave it up takes the pass in the paint that comes that one's blocked from behind he didn't get him on the way up Brad doesn't go something inside Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Oh, what a strip, Red. They're working around the perimeter. Intercepted. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Rebound. They need to get out and run their lanes now. Moving it around the perimeter. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Makes it. Another look. the 
outside. Shots there if he wants it. That's a foul. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And that what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. And the ball goes out of play. High post flashes for the ball handler. They're working around the perimeter. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here on transition, Brad. And in and out. He puts up the tray. Off the rim and no good. He puts it in with contact and all. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. This guy's not looking for anything. Ooh, look at the shot block. He got some contact. Nice hops. Perfectly executed. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. sucker out of the game, man. Dick, I'm really impressed at how quickly they get back on defense. I'm more impressed with how quickly they respond to the correct rotations. Stolen. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see raw man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. Turns it over. They're going to call that a backcourt violation. Somebody got a little nervous that time, Brad. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, both teams seem to be playing very conservative. We're still waiting for one of these teams to throw the first punch, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Picks off the pass. The fake. I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. On the outside. He shoots from the top of the circle. They are struggling from trifecta lane so far. Yeah, they're having serious trouble hitting the shot tonight, Brad. That's surprising for this team. The Owls have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Goes up for two. And he missed. Barry's at home. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball in there. There he is, strips the ball loose. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Jumps into the defender. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. They're doing a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Both teams looking to get things going here. On the inside. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. He strips him clean. Gave it up. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. That's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. The 
defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Now working around the arc. This young guy is a crowd favorite, Dick. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. With the free one. Misses the first. And Dick, they just can't seem to find the touch from the line tonight. Well, no time for lessons, Brad. They gotta start knocking them down before it's too late, baby. Second one is good. Memphis are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He intercepts it. Gets it back out. Now they work it around the perimeter. He shoots from left of the circle. He gets that one to fall. That's an 11 zip run. paint looking for the foul he shoots from the top of the key wow what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper It's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid is responding in a positive way. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Can't get the shot to drop. A high screen. Picks off the lazy pass. Two. Great play to take that to the basket. Here's a double team. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Look at that spacing. That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. From left of the circle. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. Block shot usually creates momentum and opportunity. The ball goes out of play. High post flasher is open. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle, a poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Steals a pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Fires away. 
Awesome job of running his guy in for the screen to get off that J. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. He does the sweet fake shot. For the bucket, in and out. Gave it up. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. You gotta eliminate those turnovers. He pump fakes. Stolen away. And back they come the other way. Looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. On the inside. Nice fake. For two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. For the bucket. Drops the bucket despite the harm. for a good shot. He shoots from the top of the circle. That's good. There's a double team waiting there. for a good shot. The Owls have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. up for two and off the mark oh and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul oh that's a bad bad foul right there Brad he goes to the line for the first time makes the first shot Both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. They'll work it around the arc. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. 
Let's see if they go two for one here, Brad. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. For two. Can't get the shot to go. And he scores despite the hack. Shot clock is dead. With a long bomb. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. There's the pick. There's the roll. Number four is feeling it right now. Brad, he's on fire. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Gave it up. With the big shot. And he's no good from downtown. At halftime, the Tigers are up by 21. Best play of that half. Let's take another look. Memphis is having a great night shooting the ball so far, but you got to wonder, can they keep it up in the second half? Well, it all depends on whether they get too confident or not. Sometimes when players shoot well, they forget why. Most of the time, it's because they're shooting high-percentage shots. If you don't take bad shots, you're going to have a high percentage. Dick, you've talked about the pressures of NCAA tournament play, and here it is in the second half, and you know it's building on both these teams. Well, you know, I really think it's impressive here tonight. Both these clubs are really focused on each possession. You can feel that they're playing with so much concentration, and that's all they got to do. They got to play up to their ability, and they're both doing it. At the ultimate end, it's going to come down to who makes the big shot. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here, and you get balled like I am. Dick, this team is having some serious problems at the free throw line. And it's a collective effort by all of them tonight. Second shot, no good. And that free throw line has really not been friendly for them tonight, Dick. Yeah, they just haven't looked comfortable from there. Sinks it. The Owls are down by 20. Step out on that screener. For two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Coming. Handles the pass. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I'll tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move. And he does it exceptionally well. Fake. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. The Owls have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. He takes it away. Leans in. Basket falls despite the contact. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Can their defense get them back in the game, Dick? I tell you, it's going to be a long hike back, Brad. Entry pass in the paint. Tries for two. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Tries a three. He drains the shot. Are you kidding me? Show me how he did that.
fakes. For the deuce. And he missed. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Stolen ball. Here they go into the break. Good. That's a seven zip run. For the bucket. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Stanley receives the ball. Gets it back out. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. The ball goes out of bounds. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Shoots. Knocks it down. Now the high screen. The power forward handles the feed. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Kicks it out. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. He looks for three. Off the rim and no good. He drains the bucket. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got a good help stop. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover there. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Post flashes for the opportunity. Well, receives the pass. He gets that one to fall. On the outside. He shoots from the top of the circle. He nails the long-range bomb. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The Owls are down by 28. Goes up for two. And in and out. Jump hook from the low block. Memphis have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. For the bucket. And off the mark. Good fake. He's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. There's the trap. Here's a flash from the high post. On the dribble, gives it up for two. Up, easy one.
control of the ball. Rims out. For the deuce. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game, and it's probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Got it. Jumped in front to take it away. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Gave it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. This one has really gotten ugly, my friend. Yeah, it's all but over unless things change in a hurry. Takes the pass in the paint. They move it into the front court. He shoots from outside. Knocks it down. On the dribble, gives it up. Steals the pass. Moving it around the perimeter. Gave it up. It drops. He came up with a layup after he was fouled in the air. He deserves a standing O for that one. That was beautiful. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. And we'll go to the free throw line. Good. Now they work it around the perimeter. He wants a three. He gets the bucket. And he'll kick it back outside. Intercepted. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Here's another look, Dick. Looking for a good shot for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He shoots from left of the circle. Gets it to fall. Post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Looks like only a miracle can salvage this one, Dick. I'd have to agree with you, partner. Time's running out. Takes the pass in the paint. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. He gets the shot to fall. steal gave it up playing for the steal in the post it he takes the hard hack in the air but he lays the ball in that's one you take for the team Brad with one attempt hits that one
Great defense. They're working around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Up and in. That's eight on answer. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He makes the shot. That's 11 unanswered. like we're ready to step back out onto the court. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Takes the pass in the paint. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad and Dick, what a turn of events down here on the sidelines. The coaches and the players, they are feeling the heat, the message from the bench, defensive stops and do it now. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. Picks off the lazy pass. For the bucket. Florida Atlantic. Have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Inside from downtown makes the shot. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Here's the offensive drop step on a low block, but and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They get it out into transition. Up, easy one. Here's a double team from three-point range. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Three balls paying dividends tonight, Dick. That's right, Brad. All their bills are getting paid from New York, baby. <laughs> They're working around the arc. He shoots from the top of the circle. Misses the three ball. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. There's a double team waiting there. And the ball goes out of play. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers miss opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. Trying to draw some contact. He gets the shot to fall. Yeah. 
Now they work it around the perimeter. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Lobs it. Jumps in. Got to make that baby at that wide open angle. Have a chance to lay it on the glass for easy dudes. Fans are pleased now, given the fact that this game is really out of reach. Well, it's simple. They came out, executed a game plan, and ended up on top. On the dribble, gives it up. From left of the circle, way off target. And has it rejected. Defense with a terrific block shot, though. He's a dominator blocking shots on Ian Terry. And they come up with a steal. He telegraphed that pass. <laughs> Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. And you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. So he'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created a foul opportunity. the second they have found their stroke at the strike tonight Dick this has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch they go with the entry pass on the post turnaround jumper I tell you what a nice turnaround jump shot soft as velvet fading away possible to block Loads a three. He buries it. The replay will give us a better look. Takes away the pass. On the outside. to draw the charge and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you kidding me that's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well it's the key is to really beat him to the spot get help from the help side and really do a great job seeing ball and man. The ball goes out of play. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. He shoots from the top of the key. He hits it. Working it around the perimeter, looking for a good shot. Gave it up. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Start things up again. Nicky's 
working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to drive the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Up and inside. He launches the bomb, drains it. Oh, screener seeing stars after that screen. The ball goes out of bounds. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. And the ball goes out of bounds. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing. You get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. Shot clock goes off. Yeah, Brad, the defense had him locked down that time. He throws it up from downtown. Dick, these guys are tearing it up from the three-point line. Give me more threes, please. I love watching these kids drop the trifecta. And the ball goes out of play. Dick, the shots seem to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside-outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. Dick, you've said it so many times, survive and advance. Well, one survived and will advance. The other one's going home. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about. And that was the difference in the game. Memphis came, they saw, and they conquered their first round foe, Dick. I'll tell you, Brad, watch out for this team because the coach has these kids playing with more intensity than they ever did during a regular season. And I'm going to tell you, it's going to serve them well as now they shift into gear for that second round matchup. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.